Hello everyone, my name is Ade Doing Ayonleya. You're welcome to my YouTube channel, Changing the Narrative. Changing the Narrative is an educational YouTube channel that aims at influencing and impacting the lives of students. We hope that by the time you watch this channel, you'll be able to understand every narrative. Don't forget to like this video, share with your family and loved ones and subscribe and hit the notification bell to know when I upload my videos. I'm sure you will do that. Thank you. Bye. how uncle sent me out of the house but thank goodness i was opportune to attend methodist girls school it was a boarding school i finished from methodist girls school thank goodness my dreams were finally coming true now i have to leave school to proceed for my university studies but i wish i could continue to stay in the boarding house to stretch each day into a year and each year into a century but that was impossible. I wanted a home where there is no trouble today, fight tomorrow. But I couldn't find a home in Lagos. At that time, teenagers were not allowed to live by themselves. And to be a girl living alone would be asking for trouble. In short, I had to marry Francis. He was a quiet young man. Ma and other family members were asking for 500 pounds. And since Francis was not able to afford it, my family didn't attend my wedding. The wedding itself was so hilarious. I think that should have given me a sign that there was a problem looming ahead. Francis didn't get a ring, and the pastor refused to marry us. He insisted we get a ring. We went home to get a ring and came back the next day for the wedding. That was the saddest day of my whole life. Things were difficult. Hmm. I remember getting a job at the American Consulate Library at Campbell Street in Lagos. Francis was threatened. 
I remember him asking his pa for advice whether he should allow me work. Papa, I'm practicing my son. Hey, I'm you back. Back. Yes, I'm back. Please, I went to what I even went to do there. I never even there. Hey, hey, Papa, I came to see for something very important. This is the thing that is ah, very important. Hey, hey, see, I got the job. You, you, you don't mean it. She got big job. Hey, hey, hey. America calls you like she wants to be that, that, that is wonderful, my son. That is wonderful. Papa, what's wonderful about it? Ah, what's the, I'm telling you that she got the picture. That's a lot of money, sir. That is times. Times four of my salary. Four of my salary. That, that's wonderful. I, it's I not wonderful anything. I don't like being concerned about it. You know, what is it? You know, what is it? 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 You know, Rune. Who is that? And you plenty money. She might not respect me in the house. Yes. She might begin to stand up to me and be telling me how to make decisions in the house. You don't know. Francis, the full of the man you are. Ah. Where is she taking the money to? Our people. Our people do not even come to Rafita on the arrival of our baby. See, my son, the money is for you. The money is coming to this home. Don't you understand? When the money comes to you, you'll be the one to enjoy it. You'll be the one to control and not. Oh, she must understand me. Mm. Let me tell you, she can go and work for a million Americans mm. and bring the money back home. 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 I trust you, Papa. Jesus. Yeah, please. Remember me when you start there. Yeah? <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah. She cooked, Abby. Yeah. She cooked. Come. I started working to earn money. You know, a woman could be forgiven anything among the Igbos as far as she produced children. And I didn't disappoint my in-laws in that regard as I already gave them one child and was expecting another. It was so far on this score that I was called touch notes. I have silently prayed that Pa agreed to our going to my dreamland, the United Kingdom. My husband broke the news to me after our meal. Pepe. I love pepe. Uh, pepe. Okay, we'll do it. Okay, wait, please, before you do Okay, please, fast. I have good news. Hey! Thank God, you are always good. Yes. 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 You know the matter that we have been talking about, you have been carefully before Pa. Yes. Guess what? Yes. He has agreed. Hey! Yes. yes! Really? He has agreed, though. So we're not going to London. Exactly. Hey! Wait now. Sure, my... You know that I don't really approve of a woman going to the UK going out of the country. So me, I was now. What? No, because I'm listening now. Me, I was now thinking, though. You're already really shaking your leg. Okay? So me, I was now thinking, though, that maybe me, I should go first. You know, you know all this white wala, eh? They will start telling you, you don't have permit for this, permit for that. And you know the condition you are in. To go there now and start struggling with uh, this condition. God will not let something bad happen to us. Let me go there and face all those permits for like workers and with these dads, house permits. Let me change this education and even make this my exams. And get us settled. Then by the time I'm sending for you, you are coming straight into our shelter. Even rent for is there too. Let me go there and face all those things. I don't like the way I'm doing it. Eh? What should I do? I'm telling you what we can do. Okay. So that there will not be a problem. Okay, no problem. Uh, Francis. You are packing the plate. Good night. It's late already. I need to rest. You are already going. I need to rest. Go and sleep. Rest. Good night. Sweet dreams. Hey, Jesus. No longer here at all. We will be going to England. Pa has agreed. Francis Pard said I cannot go, that I will continue to work here and support the family. Can you imagine? Is this how my dream will rot away, just like that? I should stay in Nigeria to take care of Francis' family. Anyways, I decided to play along and dance to their tune. Preparations were made for Francis to travel. 
and on the day he was to travel, at the airport, everyone cried except me. I planned to cry to impress my in-laws, but the tears filled me and came at the wrong time when Francis had departed. A few months afterwards, Francis sent part one of his results. He had passed. I was not surprised because he had written that exam four times in Nigeria. It was time to act, I thought to myself, or I would never go to the land of my dreams. After convincing my in-laws, I would return after a year and six months and promise not to stop sending them money. They let me go. After the preparations to travel, I bid everyone farewell and I went to the United Kingdom.